work-life balance. Um, how do I manage it? Well, um, I think as an entrepreneur, I just integrate it all as much as possible because, uh, you know, I, I want to keep different things happening and rolling on a personal level, whether it's my relationship with my family or friends. Uh, I do feel that I have a good uh, work-life balance, um, especially for the past couple of years since I've been in Thailand. It wasn't always like that. I used to work uh, very early mornings, late evenings, work Friday nights, check my emails uh, every weekend, um, and not really take much time off. Um, but now, uh, it's probably me working for, for almost 20 years, approaching 40, my personal time, having my weekends and just enjoying something else has become increasingly important to me. So, and the, the driver behind that is that I'm now prioritizing um, all of my work properly. I'm very aware, or I'm kind of making myself remember all the time, that nothing is that important. Especially if it's uh, sent to me on a Friday afternoon, then nothing is as important that it can't wait until Monday. So this is, this is how I strategize. Work, work life balance. <laughs> um, I think I'm very lucky in a way because my work feels particularly not work-like. Um, in the grand scheme of things, like I do, I, I do struggle sometimes between the work-life balance because as much as you can love your work, which I'm very lucky that I love my work so much, it's still work and it still takes your time, it still takes your energy and your concentration and no matter how much you love it like you still have to pull yourself away so I think I, I don't know if I have a good work-life balance this is this is a question I've been asking myself a lot and I think that's kind of all you can do um, is especially when you have something that that you love like it's it's also this balance between honoring that you're incredibly passionate and that you're incredibly lucky while also making sure that you know, you're paying attention to the fact that you're human and you're just this animal that's like doing all these things <laughs> and it can be, it can be hard on your body. So yeah, just keep asking yourself those questions. I feel like I have a good balance between work and my personal life, but uh, I still feel like there are the room for me to grow up um, because until today, when I'm at home, I try to like, put uh, work aside, just focus with my family or just entertain myself with uh, some Korean city. But I I can't um, leave my eye from my phone. I can't leave my eye to like working up. Is there any urgent email? I would like to 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 go up my um, attitudes and stop doing work at home. As, as I can, yes. I think that uh, for me, work-life integration is quite important. And uh, the good thing is I am having very supporting family. So uh, I live with my husband and uh, we don't have any children. And then uh, I think the good thing is that we are both outgoing because sometimes you know that working in uh, this kind of industry because Sometimes the project side, they uh, working every day, right? 24 hours a day. So sometimes we have, if there is a problem, sometimes we have to go to project sites or when we have like CRM activities. Normally, uh, our customer, they work Monday to Friday. So the available days that we can do the event. Uh, for example, last Sunday, we also sponsoring the concert to, to our customer. So it's me that sometimes have to work on uh, weekends as well, but not not every weekends. But it's me that I try to uh, either bring uh, my family along and then they can enjoy it, and then or sometimes it's like we we try to delegate uh, to our staff and then uh, they can go on my behalf. So it means something that you can uh, balance. Not only like if you think that you can do everything yourself and then. And then it's not healthy for the family. Yes. 
<laughs> I think so. So yeah, I'm always available for my family, and that is my personal life to me. So yes, and for friends who I feel actually need me, and I think I have yes, there are times where I feel a bit overwhelmed. I used to, to be honest, I used to. When I just started working after a gap, I would feel a bit overwhelmed with people's expectation around. But then I, as I said, I prioritized what was important for me and for my family, and then comes everything else. So I do have that balance. And I just wanted to tell everybody here, watch my video. I said, please do, because balance is my ideology. Things like. Balance is like life with your family, life with your kid, life with your partner, life with your husband, and a boyfriend, love life, and also career.、Um, you need the word balance because if you are too much, fifty percent or sixty percent or seventy percent of your career. Because for me, if I put my heart so much about my dream or my career, because you know I can earn more money, buy more property. Then I I just feel I losing my ground.、Uh, the connection of my family,、uh, which is really important. I have a very old parents that I taking care of them.、Um, they also need my support. And you know, as a as a Thai Chinese and Asian lady,、um, then also a business person,、um, the the balance that I do every day is to give more time, to give time. Enough, you know, to myself, to my parents, to my family, and also my business and the community that I work in, especially the staff. So I I believe that that this is for me is really important that how I can manage everything, not just only focus on Alisa KK and and just the business balance. That's a very, very interesting word, and that's what I think we all try to do is balance our life as women, you know, because we take on so many roles. But here is the important thing: the word balance doesn't seem to be there, right? Sometimes it's more personal, sometimes it's more professional. I think we just need to adapt accordingly. So I wouldn't say there's always a complete balance, but there are some things that we can do to maintain. That particular balance, and in order to be able to do that, is key time management. Right, you need to set the boundaries. I think I reflected in the previous question on how I divide my day, and that's what I would recommend everyone to do. Then you know what needs to get done at each time, and maybe it's one one task per each time frame. You know, then you can do it. You can manage your time well. You can master anything. And everything, and I think it's all about time management. Another things about time management is because we multitask as women, it makes absolute. It becomes absolutely actually necessary to actually divide your work. You know, look at your workflow. What is it that you really need to do it yourself, and what is it that you can actually delegate? When I say the word delegate, it does not mean work related. It can even be personal. Is it something that your family can take on? Is it something that your parents can help you with, or your husband or your partner can help you with, or is it something even your kid can help you with? You don't have to do it on your own, or you can hire help to do it for you, right? So if we can do that, we focus on the key, important, basic task, right? And that means that we have more time to do more important tasks, and the other task we can delegate. So again, the word here is time management. The the way that I try to communicate、uh, my bodily and the needs to my colleagues is, I would always、um, I believe that we all have our power to motivate and cheer up our people, our friends, and family member as well. So what I did to them is I will、uh, talk to them when they do good job, that excellent, you did is really good. Or maybe、um, when they are listening to me, I may say that、uh, thank you for listening to me, and you really helped me a lot. 
and for some staff that they did quite well, really well, fantastic work, I I, I, I would uh, um, say to them that I can't imagine how can I get this work done without you. Uh, and I would uh, recommend anyone like you, you can speak with you, your sons, your daughter, and even your husband, any person. I think we as a human being, we need some motivations from our cross, like um, our friends, uh, our family, and uh, just uh, show them that we are here to support them, and they are they can be confident that uh, even in their bad day, we are here. And who knows? Your 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 share up message may change their bad day to a bright day. And for uh, another another thing that I always. Um, like uh, conduct at work is I would have a one-to-one -one discussion with the team, um, and it it might not be like um, job interviews or job follow-up. You can ask anything like one-to-one. -one. You can go out to have some coffee with them and then talk to them that how is the their work, how is their student, how is the the thing going on on their their life. I would recommend you to do so, and then um, you can have some like boundary, and the boundary would be closer. And the last thing I would recommend is um, I will not send any message to my team after working out, or especially still um, during the holiday period. Uh, I think we should start at respect the quality time, and if they have good quality time quality time, good resting time, they will come back and then they have the, the, the feeling to, to contribute for you and for others. How to work uh, smoothly and not feeling guilty about your work is mean that you have to be really sincere and also uh, be straightforward. I think sometimes it's uh, quite difficult for Thai culture, but for me, because I uh, work in multinational company before, at the first year it's quite big different for the team, but then I try to explain more, because sometimes if you just tell them to do something and then they don't know the objective, right, or they don't know what their impact or what is their effort going to accomplish to what goals of the company. So I try to emphasize on uh, the working objective and then also uh, open the discussion with them. So normally we will have like a team uh, gathering every quarter. So when you think about like one year outing or do big activity together once a year, sometimes it's lack of communication, right? And then every, like, every end of the month, we have a town hall together with customer not customer, employee birthday. So that's uh, something that's some more events, but I try to have like more engagement with them and then have uh, two ways communications. Say that, that you'll never find time for anything. If you want time, you have to make it. I think this is something we hear very often, right? We always say we want to do this, we want to exercise, uh, we want to take a vacation, but we always say we don't have time. So the first thing we need to say is stop saying I don't have time, right? Are you managing your time effectively? I think that's the important question you need to ask. And the advice I would like to give everyone, and which I've done it myself, it's like an exercise. Take a paper and pen, start monitoring your time. What are you doing? You start up with, write down how much time you take for each activities. And at the end of the day, you can actually review, right? What took so much time? A lot of people also take unintentional social media time, right? And then once we, you know, how it goes, you start and then, oh, and then you keep scrolling, scrolling. And before you know it, it's one hour gone and that's your working hour, right? So set aside a separate time for social media. Get the things that you need to done first, get those done first, right? So that becomes very important. A night before, list out things that you need to do for the day. 
and what's three things that you really need to get done. And as I said earlier, one thing, just do it the moment before you even start your day. Like, I want to get this done. So you know that you start off with that um, stream that, yes, one checklist. You know, you know how you feel when you actually do that checklist and say, this is done. So even though uh, I'm a lot into digitization and I actually speak a lot on digitization, if there's one thing I like to do is that tick mark. So I always try to write things down. And when you get that, you know, it's that complete satisfaction. So if you can do that time management, that becomes very important. And learn to say no, woman. It's okay. So instant, just this morning, I had a client, and a very big client too, who wanted to meet me this afternoon. Um, but it was the same time that I promised my son that I would go and see his basketball match. Now that's a tough decision, right? But sometimes even clients will respect you for telling them that, you know, you prioritize on family too. They know you already. It's okay to say that, can we reschedule this, right? So it doesn't, you really have to know what's your priorities, right? You don't try to mix it up, right? So you keep promises you make both to your clients and to your family, and you need to balance that. And it's okay to say that I cannot do it now. I need more time. Um, you know, this is not good for me, right? And. That's the advice I would give women, right? Speak up. Yes. Uh, first thing, I don't think, and this I tell, and this is not from a teacher's angle, but also as a corporate trainer, I always tell in my sessions that work-home balance is very important. Don't let your work eat you up. And this is what happens a lot of times where you prioritize your work and you neglect your personal life. Most people will not neglect their personal life, but they will prioritize their work because that's where their bread and butter comes from or their passion is associated with. But you know, you cannot be so passionate that you just forget about this balance. The so balance is the key and the, both ways. So you can't just be in your personal life and neglect your work. You can't take that for granted. So this is how one should strike a work-home balance is give, give, each what it needs to and towards the end it is only you who's going to benefit from this balance if you keep so my routine i guess to maintain a good balance between work and personal life um, i'm very lucky because i work from home so i can choose to get my work done um, whenever i whenever i want to really as long as the work is done by, by the deadline Obviously, there are meetings that I have to attend that I, that I can't avoid, but again, it's very important for me to not just blindly accept every single meeting time that is sent, but I make sure that this meeting fits, this meeting time fits into my day or even my week. Um, so I can choose to not, not, not start work very early, to not work past a certain hour in the evening or even in the afternoon. Um, I can get all of my errands done, my chores are done, my weekday coffees with friends are all done at a time when it's most convenient uh, for me. Um, this is obviously something that I can apply 99% of the time. Um, sometimes uh, early starts and uh, late evenings are necessary, but I think um, I try to push back as much as I can to make sure that everything that's in my schedule I actually am happy to put in the schedule and it, 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 it suits me and it kind of works with my schedule. Strategy, um, I love, I'm, I'm a person that I think it's not always have to be as my age, you know, like I'm a midlife, so I just feel you don't have to be, I could be young so like you to appreciate. I think my strategy is mostly is the nature that I around me, the tree, because sometimes nature, nature is never alive, we can tree. So it's always my strategy to even uh, have time to look at the nature, look at the tree and give myself peace. Um, and then exercise to give back your energy, because I believe nature also can give you back energy if you have time to appreciate it. And um, then I can have more energy to carry on, you know, and 
know, being positive, that's, that's really important to me. Um, but no matter what is negative happened to your work and, you know, the stress that you have and um, try to just carry on the way that you feel really positive what things going to happen. Responsible to uh, both sides, your life, your, your business. I don't have the career at the moment. I think I work part time with the PR company, like so brand now to to help out. But it's just a long one day a week. But I also responsible for one day that I I have with brand now. At, at the same time, also go back home to eat well. Don't forget exercise, and every morning just read to inhale your energy to carry on for the other day and make your best day every day. So this question, I did this to myself because it was a question I came up with. How, how do I differentiate between work and life when you love what I do? Um, and it's, I think it's a good question, but I'm not an expert in it yet. And it's really tough. You know, I think that, I think for me, it really comes back to, at least right now, it comes back to thinking about next steps. Um, so if there's like a commitment to a deadline and a responsibility of outcomes, I tend to consider that work, whereas if it's much more related to like scoping and um, ideating and that kind of loose, fun, you know, juicy creation process, that feels much less like work. And so I tend to consider that more of like my personal time and I dedicate more time to my personal projects to that because um, it fills me up. But it's you know, when you do enough ideating, you end up with next steps. So I think it's it's a bit of a it's a bit of a trick, and I haven't fully haven't fully figured that out yet.